Flying a drone indoors presents a unique set of challenges and risks compared to outdoor operations. The confined space, potential obstacles, and absence of GPS support require a different approach to ensure safe and effective flight. Today, we're gonna to discuss the crucial tips and strategies for successfully navigating indoor environments with a drone. Before we begin, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons so we can continue to provide you with more drone related content. I was recently asked to fly in a large warehouse that was overcrowded with manufacturing equipment, people, products for sale, cranes, vehicles, and a ton of stuff. My job was to map out the facility so that a case could be made to corporate for leasing additional space. Avoiding the countless dangers to my drone kept me on my toes. If you are looking to fly indoors, whether it's filming the interior of a single family home for real estate agents or a massive industrial warehouse, here are some tips to make flying indoors a success. First off, understand the challenges of indoor flight. Indoor drone flying eliminates factors like wind and weather, but introduces new complexities. Limited space, the presence of people, and indoor structures like beams and pillars create a challenging environment. Additionally, most drones rely on GPS for stability and positioning, which is typically unavailable or unreliable indoors. Being ready to control your drone without the help of GPS takes practice, so don't accept an indoor gig until you know how to handle your drone in this situation. Number two, choosing the right drone. Not all drones are suitable for indoor flight. Smaller, more agile drones with stable hovering capabilities are ideal. Many models are specifically designed for indoor use, equipped with protective guards around their propellers to minimize damage to the drone and its surroundings and other safety features. Opt for a drone with good battery life and responsive controls. Pre-flight preparations. Before flying a drone indoors, conduct a thorough site inspection. Identify potential hazards like hanging lights, ceiling fans, and windows. Clear the area of unnecessary obstacles and inform people present about the flight to ensure their safety. Check the drone's condition, ensuring that all components are functioning correctly. When I flew the warehouse gig, I walked the entire location with one of the managers and let everyone know where I'd be flying and when. Number four, disabling GPS and relying on manual controls. Since GPS signals are weak or non-existent indoors, pilots should be proficient in flying a drone using manual controls. Practice flying in a controlled environment to develop the necessary skills. As I said earlier, be prepared for how differently the drone may behave without GPS stabilization. Number five, calibrating the drone sensors. Most drones have various sensors to assist with flight, such as barometers and visual positioning systems. Ensure that these are correctly calibrated to suit the indoor environment. This calibration helps the drone maintain stability during flight. Next, we have maintaining a line of sight and awareness always keep the drone within your line of sight. This goes for outside, but especially is true in an indoor environment. This is crucial for indoor flying due to the proximity of obstacles. Typically, things will be way closer to you than if you're outside flying in the open area. Be constantly aware of the drone's position relative to the surroundings to react swiftly in order to avoid potential collisions. Number seven, controlling speed and altitude. Fly at a slow, controlled speed, especially when navigating through tight spaces. Controlling the altitude is equally important to avoiding collisions with ceilings and high objects. The drone's response indoors can be more immediate due to the lack of wind resistance, so gentle control inputs are essential. Utilize propeller guards. Propeller guards are invaluable for indoor flying. They protect the drone's propellers from damage and prevent the blades from causing harm if they come in contact with objects or people. Plan the flight path. Pre-plan your flight path, taking into account the room's layout and the purpose of the flight. Whether it's for photography, inspection, or practice, a planned route helps in navigating efficiently and safely. Next, be prepared for emergencies. Always be prepared for potential emergencies. This includes knowing how to quickly land or stop the drone if it goes out of control or if there's an unexpected situation. Have a clear emergency procedure in place. You also want to monitor battery levels. Indoor flight may require more maneuvering and adjustments, which can drain the battery life faster than expected. 
regularly monitor the drone's battery level and have spare batteries handy for longer sessions. Respecting privacy and permissions. If flying in public or semi-public indoor spaces, respect the privacy of others and obtain the necessary permissions. Be transparent about your intentions and ensure that your activities do not invade anyone's privacy or disrupt normal activities. Practicing and building skills. Regular practice is key to becoming proficient at indoor flying. Start in larger, more open indoor spaces and gradually move to more complex environments as your skills improve. Flying a drone indoors requires skills, preparation, and a deep understanding of the drone's capabilities and the environment. Choosing the right drone, preparing adequately, mastering manual controls, and being mindful of safety and privacy concerns are paramount. By following these tips, drone pilots can successfully navigate indoor spaces, whether for recreation, professional photography, or inspection purposes. With practice and careful operation, indoor drone flying can be a rewarding and productive experience. We hope you enjoyed today's video. From all of us at Altitude University, stay safe out there and happy flying.